Hey everyone. Good evening. Hi Susan. Hello. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, we are going to be talking about natural choices for your ideal beauty regimen. We're going to be talking about Young Living's amazing facial care products. Uh, they are something that I did not know a lot about when I first started using the oils, and I think a lot of people kind of don't. And uh, I think that when it comes to beauty care products, like we want to hear what our friends are using, right? So this is what Susan and I, um, that's why Susan and I wanted to do a spree cast like this, so we can just tell you about our experiences with uh, Young Living's amazing beauty care products and just what we think about them and what's in them and what's not in them because that is probably um, you know one of the most important things if you have not researched the different ingredients that are in like your lotions and your face wash and stuff like that please do because I did and I honestly was shocked so it's definitely um, worth it to take the time to research those ingredients and just make sure that you're informed because for so many years I wasn't so I'm hoping that tonight's during tonight's precast we can help you um, get more informed and learn more about these and answer some of your questions hopefully and just have some fun. So I'm excited you could join us and um, I'm excited about, I think I say excited like probably a million times in every spreecast over that's and over. That's okay, so. it could be a better, it could be a worse word, so that's, <laughs> we'll take it. Perfect. Um, so if you are joining us from a mobile device tonight and you have the option to switch to a computer, we do suggest doing that just so you can have the best experience possible and so that you can participate in the chat, which is on the right side of your screen if you are on a computer. Some mobile devices have it, but most of them don't. So, uh, and that's part of the fun in doing this. So um, Susan's gonna talk about uh, what we're gonna cover tonight. Yeah, so um, so another thing, we'll be having images come up. So if this is your first time with Spreecast, you'll see that an image will pop up and you'll have the ability to um, drag it to a different part of the screen. So then you can still see Jenny and I on the screen as well. So that's one of the features that I really love about Spreecast is we can share images, but then you still get to see us um, speaking about whatever we're talking about. So, so we're gonna cover a couple areas tonight and I think that you're gonna love this class. It's probably gonna go a little long, so if you have to break away and then come back and catch the replay to finish up, that is for sure you know something uh, that you can do as an option because there's a lot of material that we're gonna cover. So we're gonna uh, touch on why you should choose Young Living. Um, if you're already an oily user, then you know a lot of the great features of why people choose Young Living for their essential oils. So we're gonna touch on that. Um, then we're gonna talk about skin care routines for the different skin types. So maybe, you know, you, I can remember years ago, like I got to go and have like my face diagnosed and all this, you know, and, and we never do that anymore. And so really trying to pinpoint what is your skin type and what, you know, the, what condition is your skin in? So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then we're going to cover 15 of Young Living's products that we have in the skincare line, which um, some of them you've probably heard about, and maybe there are some that you haven't. And then we're going to just kind of share our personal experience um, along the way as well as we cover them. So we're going to first talk about the different skin types. Then we're going to cover the different products. So as we're talking about um, your routine for your skin type, we're going to be mentioning product names. So just be sure that you jot that down. So then when we talk about the specific um, product, then you can just br bring that up and recall that. So. Um, so just real quick, I'll, I'll just touch, um, I am Susan Hyde and I have a blog at The Confident Mom and uh, began using Young Living, I can't believe it's gonna be three years next month. So right now I'm a platinum leader um, and just love working with other moms to, that you know want to empower them to care for their family and use natural alternatives and um, I just love it. I have four kids and we are definitely an oily home. So. Okay, I guess it's my turn. So um, my name is Jenny. I also have a blog and my blog is bargainblessings.com. And I never, ever thought I would be here talking to you about essential oils or essential oil products. I just never would have guessed it. It was never me. I've never been crunchy or uh, I used to laugh at my friends that were into anything natural because I thought it was totally crazy until I started to uh, have reasons in my life to look into the products that I was using. So. 
that's how I ended up here in front of you. And it's just been become um, something that I'm really passionate about. My family's really passionate about. I love sharing about. And I think it's just, it's, um, they're more than just oils. They're really life changing and they've really impacted us in huge ways. And I know they've changed many of your lives too. So, uh, I just, I love teaching about them and I'm excited to be here tonight. So, that's my story. So, I am going to start and I just want to share a little bit about, so let's talk about why Young Living. Why would you, you know, what, what's the big deal about Young Living? So, for those of you that are maybe new to Young Living or you haven't used their products before, and then why specifically things like their beauty products? So, uh, I love, first of all, I gotta say, I love that Young Living not only offers us amazing bottles of oils. I can't believe I don't even have an oil within reach. How terrible is that? That's I just okay. Here you go. Today. <laughs> They're right on my So, I love that they not only have oils, but it seems like every year we're getting more and more amazing products like beauty care products and laundry detergent and dish soap. And I love it because I, it's really, I feel like Young Living has grown. They've been around for 20 years, by the way. So that they're not new. They know what they're doing. And having visited many of their farms now, just during the past year, there is so much science that goes into science and thought and heart and love that goes into every bottle of oil and every product. And that is probably the biggest thing that I took away from those farm visits is they don't just throw whatever they want to in the products. There's really thought that goes into every single ingredient. They don't look at, you know, what's the cheapest, what's going to make us the biggest buck. They're looking at how how is this impacting uh, those people that are going to be using this product, and is this, this is this a good item? Is this a good ingredient for us to be including in this oil or in this product? So um, I really love that, and I love that that's really at the heart of uh, who Young Living is as a company. That is something that really impacted me. So, uh, you know, when I was using other products, I really, do you, do you have any idea of like what the, those companies' priorities are? You know, because a lot of time it's really just profit and it's pleasing their shareholders and that's, um, that's their priorities. And I, I think, or, or we have no idea what their priorities are, right? So that's really, that's the heart that's going in to a lot of those um, commercial products that we're buying from the store and stuff. So just something to consider there. Uh, and really, you know, I, I've been, I forgot to say, but I've been using Young Living products for coming up on two years now. And I, like I said, they've had a, a huge impact on our lives. And, uh, you know, if you're, if I just want to urge you from personal experience that if you are struggling in areas of your health, Please do yourself a favor and look into the ingredient. Look into the products that you're using. Research them. Um, I I just please do that. Please do yourself a favor. It would mean a lot to me <laughs> if you would do that because I think you might be surprised and look into how those ingredients impact your life. So I'm just really thankful to have Young Living and to have a company that has a commitment to um, putting good ingredients into each of their bottles and making sure that the science behind those ingredients makes sense. So um, Young Living's the only company to have spent the last 20 plus years of developing a product line that cultivates wellness by purifying the home, nourishing our bodies, and beautifying our skin and hair um, and comforting the spirit. All while never compromising in their stringent Seed to Steel standards. If you've never been to Seed to Steel.com, uh, not Seed to Steel.com, uh, visit it. It's a really informative website, has some great information on it. And, uh, you know, just why not replace some of the products that you're currently using uh, for products that you know that have a really great commitment like Seed to Steel behind them? So, uh, I'm just, I'm really grateful for all of these. They've made such a huge difference in my skin. If I would have done this free cast uh, two years ago, I would have had layers and layers of makeup on. And now I just, I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore these days. And my skin is just, it's more, you know, firm. I, and even though I'm getting older, it's, yeah, more glowing. <laughs> um, and it's more soft and I love it. So, um, those are just some of the reasons why I love Young Living as a company. I know. So we're going to talk about 
skin. So this is going to be where it's going to get a little, <laughs> a little boring if you pick your skin type out really early here. So anyway, one of the things that, you know, I, I know we have said this before and we repeat it often, but I think we really forget. And, you know, why, why should we care so much about what goes on our skin? We're really concerned about what we ingest and that kind of stuff. But really, when you think about it, your skin is your largest or organ. We've talked about that before, and it is a fact. Every time you are slathering, you know, some kind of product, whether it's a lotion, petroleum jelly, um, you know, any kind of uh, mineral or bath oil, um, you're getting all of that goes right into your bloodstream. So it is very important. And I didn't have any idea. I didn't even care. Probably even I would say probably two years ago. That's when I kind of woke up and smelled the coffee. So I was getting more um, just more concerned and just really researching things and really understanding why it's so important for our bodies to be getting, you know, pure um, and things that are good for us um, to go into it. And so the skin is going to be one of the things that um, takes a real beating. And so using things that are going to benefit and you know, uh, contribute to our wellness routine, I think is critical. So, and our skin, it's like our, it's like what we share, you know, to the world first thing, that's what people see is your beautiful face. And so if we can do things that will keep it that way, um, as long as possible, why would we not want to do that? So there are a couple apps and there is a website. So if you um, are Looking at some of the products that you currently have in your home, I would check out, um, there's an app called Skin Deep, um, and you can, uh, I think you can just use the barcode on a product and it will pull it up and it will share with you the ingredients that are in it and kind of give it a grade. Also another website called EWG um, is gonna rate different products, not only skincare things, but like laundry detergent, any kind of product that you have in your home as well. So. Um, so that is really, I think education and just understanding is the first step to really being empowered and, you know, being able to make better choices. Because if you don't know, then how, how are you going to make a better choice? Totally agree. My turn. I know it is. Okay, here we go. I'm taking some notes in my current. Well, I'll tell you guys later. I want to let the cat out of the bag. So. I am first going to talk about normal skin. And you guys have to tell me in the chat who has normal skin because I, I want to. I love that, yeah. I want to know <laughs> who has normal skin. So normal skin is um, not too dry and not too early. It has no or few imperfections. Sorry, not too oily, not early, oily. Uh, it has no or few imperfections. And it has no severe sensitivity. It has barely visible pores and has a radiant complexion. I uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot closer to normal skin, but I don't feel like I'd be there without these products. So uh, I am grateful for them. So that's like the definition of normal skin. So maybe some of you fall into that category. So if that is you and you look at the image that Susan just put up here, there is a wonderful protocol for you to be able to use these products um, best for your skin. So step one would be to cleanse with the, and again, we are going to be talking about each of these individual products mm -hmm. here after we go through these protocols. So I'm not going to go into depth on all these, but we're just going to talk about the protocols right now. So you would cleanse with the Art Gentle, Clen Gentle Cleanser or the Orange Blossom face, face Wash. Love both of those in the morning and in the evening. Then you would exfoliate with the Satin Facial Scrub, the Mint Satin Facial Scrub two to three times a week. And then you would tone with the Art Refreshing Toner following with cleansing and or exfoliation. And then optionally, you can restore your skin using the Art Renewal Serum um, applied to delicate areas two times a day. And then moisturize with the Art Light Moisturizer. And then based on your needs, some other options to refine your beautiful normal skin would be the Art Beauty Facial uh, Mask, the Wolfberry Eye Cream Sheer Loom, and, uh, or the Art Cream Mask. And then a couple of essential oils that are really good for normal skin, don't, you don't want to leave those out, uh, lavender, rosewood, geranium, 
or rose, neroli, and sandalwood. So those are three drops of each, and those are the two options. So you would either do lavender, rosewood, and geranium, rose, neroli, sandalwood. And uh, we're going to be sharing these images later, by the way, so don't feel like you've got to like write everything down really fast. So we're going to be sharing these, and you'll have access to them uh, from the event page after the event. Perfect. Oh, hi. Next, we have oily skin. So if this is you, oily skin can produce enlarged pores, dull or sh shiny, a thick complexion, blackheads, pimples, or other blemishes. Oiliness can change depending on the time of year or the weather. Oily skin can be caused or made worse by puberty or other hormonal imbalances, stress, or exposure to heat or too much humidity. So if this is you, your oily routine uh, would start with cleansing with the Art Gentle Cleanser or the Orange Blossom Face Wash. And by the way, this is actually the same protocol as normal skin. So if this sounds familiar, it's, it's going to be the same protocol. So tone with the Art Refreshing Toner, then restore optional with the Art Renewal Serum, serum applied to delicate facial areas. Moisturize with the Art Light Moisturizer, and then based on your needs, refining with the Art, Art Beauty Mask, Wolfberry Eye Cream, or Sheer Loom. So actually, I think it's it's just slightly different. Two of them are the same, wow. but I think the refine is a little different. But anyway, so uh, by the way, I should mention, and I Susan, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of Young Living members just went to beauty school out in Utah, and I'm think that these notes came yeah. from beauty school is that right so yeah. like welcome to beauty school everyone like yeah. <laughs> like if you didn't get to go to that like neither of us because we both had trips all, you know front and back of it i would have loved to go but this is like golden information i i like i am so excited to have it myself and and try out these protocols so i'm excited about it yeah um uh, so essential oils for oily type skin, five drops each of two uh, of either of these combinations, cedarwood and chamomile, or geranium and lavender. So those would be uh, your essential oils that you would want to make sure to have on hand for oily skin. And then the next one I'm going to cover, and this is where I fall into, lucky me, is combination skin. So combination skin, you have combination skin. Uh, if you it, so combination skin type can be dry or or normal in some areas and then oily in others such as like the t-zone so that's like your forehead your uh, nose and your chin and then uh, and a lot of people have combination skin so maybe a lot of you watching have it uh, and it may um, this type of skin may benefit from slightly different types of skin care in different areas Combination skin can produce over, overly dilated pores, blackheads, and shiny skin. So those are all things that I've uh, struggled with over the years and that I've been excited to conquer with um, these awesome products. So if you have combination skin and... Sorry, I popped it. Awesome. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so if you have combination skin, your protocol would start with cleansing with the Art Gentle Cleanser again. So you guys are probably noticing the trend there. It's pretty amazing. I think I, think I get to tell you about it in a minute. Uh, orange Blossom Face Wash in the morning and the evening, then exfoliating with the mint facial scrub again three times a week, and really specifically focusing that exfoliation on the dry and flaky areas. And then toning with the Art Refreshing Toner following uh, cleansing or exfoliation, restoring with the Art uh, Renewal Serum to delicate facial areas two times a day, moisturizing with the Art Light Moisturizer, uh, Sandalwood moist Moisture Cream, or the Boss, Boss is it Boss Wheelia? I don't know. Boss that's what I've just called it. Boswellia. 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 Uh, wrinkle cream and I do want to point out that in the previous two types of skin in the oily skin and the normal normal skin um, though is restore was optional but for combination skin restore is not optional so if you have combination skin maybe pay a little bit more attention to that 
restore step with the art renewal serum, that might be something you want to consider more strongly if you have this type of skin. And then refining based on your needs with the art beauty mask, the art cream mask, chocolate mask, well, fairy eye cream uh, or sheer loom and or sheer loom. Essential oils that are good for this type of skin would be cedarwood, chamomile, and geranium. So three drops of each of those three or lavender, myrrh, and sandalwood. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go and jump into talking about dry skin. So especially, you know, what I think oftentimes you can have a certain type of skin um, for a good part of the year, but then like it seems like in the winter, a lot of people might roll over to having dry skin more often than not. So, so dry skin can produce almost invisible pores. Um, it's really dull and a rough complexion. You can have red patches. Um, you have less elasticity um, in your skin and more visible lines. So that is also called old skin, but we will come to that in a minute. But um, So when exposed to drying factors, skin can actually crack, peel, or become itchy, irritated, or inflamed. So if you've got skin that's very dry, it can be really rough and scaly. And there's probably people that are watching that have that um, issue, especially in the colder climates where it's on your um you know, your cheekbones, especially, you know, your cheeks. So dry skin can be caused or made worse, worse by genetic factors, um, aging or hormonal changes, weather, as I talked about, and then also UV radiation from tanning beds or even the sun. Um, indoor heating, I hate when we have to turn the furnace on because our air in our home is so dry that we actually, and I'm living in Seattle, we run two humidifiers in our home during the winter when the furnace is on to keep the uh, moisture in the air. So um, if you take long hot showers or bath, that was gonna contribute to dry skin as well. Um, and then if you are using um, products that contain ingredients that are in your soaps, or cosmetics, those could also be contributing to your skin being really dry. So, and then also some medications can be contributing factors. So. So if you are a dry skin person, this is gonna be your protocol. So, um, so here you've got the Art Gentle Cleanser. Then it says you can also use the V6 oil as a cleanser. And I have just been reading where a lot of people have been using that both as a cleanser and also as a makeup remover. So it's an awesome and honestly really frugal way um, to, you know, to do that. So if you have dry skin, I would encourage you to try that. Um, and then also the orange blossom face wash. So you want to do that morning and night. Um, exfoliating, I think is really important when you have dry skin, even though it may seem the opposite, you want to get that dry, um, unhealthy skin off of the layer. So doing that um, three to four times a week um, is really helpful. And then toning with the Art Refresher Toner. Um, and then Restore, that Art Renewal Serum um, is going to be really uh, good for that. And I love that. I can't wait till we talk about that. And then Moisturizing, the Sandalwood Moisture Cream, Rose Ointment, or the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream. I love the Sandalwood Moisture Cream, too. So we're going to talk about that. It's awesome for dry skin. So, And then Refine, it says, so it's based on your needs. So you could be that you don't really need to do any of these, but these are options. So using that Art Beauty Mask, the Wolfberry Eye Cream, the Sheer Lume, or the Art Cream Mask as well. And then here are some ideas if you wanted to incorporate some essential oils into your routine too, is Roman chamomile, geranium, and sandalwood, mixing those together. Or you could use clary sage or frankincense and Roman chamomile. So those are just some ones that you could put together on your own and apply to your skin too. So, so now we're going to jump to uh, sensitive skin. So I am thankful that I don't really have never had to struggle with that. So I am thankful because I think this would be really challenging. So, so sensitive skin can show up as redness, itching, burning, dryness. Um, so if that is you, um, we will take a look at the sensitive skin options. So here you've got the orange blossom face wash or also the V6 um, morning and night. So the difference here is that the art cleanser is not um, recommended for sensitive skin. To exfoliate, you would just use the satin facial scrub mint two, two to three times a week. Toning, they say to skip this step. Restore, optional would be the renewal serum, the art renewal serum. And then moisturize the rose ointment, 
the argon carrier oil. So that is something uh, Young Living doesn't sell, but you can purchase that el elsewhere. And then also the V6 is another option as well. And then to refine, you've got the Art Beauty Mask, Wolfberry Eye Cream, and the Sheer Lume. So here are the three uh, drops of each of the three oils with the V6. You've got chamomile, uh, Melrose, and frankincense, or lavender, Melluca A, and then chamomile. So that is for sensitive skin. So then I love how I get to talk about the mature skin. <laughs> Which is fine because this is this is where I'm at. As much as I don't want to admit it, my I have mature skin, so it is no longer as firm as it once was. <laughs> um, your skin loses both collagen, which is a protein that keeps skin firm, plump, and wrinkle-free, and elastin, which is also another um, uh, protein which allows it to stretch and then come back. So as you age, that is lost. Um, dead skin cells don't shed as quickly, and skin may not regenerate new healthy cells as easily, which can cause skin to appear rough and dull. Um, mature skin tends to dry out more often than youthful skin, and it loses its natural glow. So, um, so I'll just tell you, like, okay, so I'm almost 49, and I, I do fit into that mature skin category, but I really do think that switching my products to using products that don't have added ingredients that my body doesn't want has really made a difference um, for me. So I love, love that. Okay, so here is the routine um, for mature skin. So the Art Channel Cleanser or Orange Blossom Face Wash. So I'll just share since this is my skin. Um, so I love using the Orange Blossom Face Wash in the shower in the morning, and then at night I use the Art Cleanser um, before I go to bed. So um, I find that that just kind of fits two spots, and I can use both of those products because I do like both of them. So um, I do exfoliate with the Satin Facial Scrub. Um, I do that probably three times a week, and I do that in the shower as well, and it makes it super easy. So. Um, the toner, uh, I will do that in the evening. I'm not very good at doing it in the morning, but if I'm doing it after I've used the, um, the Art Gentle Cleanser, then I am much more apt to do that step. I'm, I'm kind of like a lazy skincare person. <laughs> and so toning, I'm like, I don't have time for this, but you know what, it really is important. Um, then to restore, the Art Renewal Serum um, is helpful for that. And moisturizing, the Sandalwood Moisture Cream or the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream. I use the Sandalwood Cream every night, and I love it. So, And then refining, which based on need, is the Art Beauty Mask, the Wolfberry Eye Cream, Sheer Lume, or the Art Cream Mask. So, And then the oils that you could add into your routine if you wanted, you've got five drops of each of these two oils. You've got Clary Sage and Neroli or Palmarosa and Rose. So maybe I need to tell my husband, yeah, I'm supposed to be using rose every night on my <laughs> that he would he'd be like, okay, honey. So <laughs> very important. <laughs> all right. So so now we're gonna jump in and talk about some of these or all of these amazing products. So the first one that I want to share with you uh is, well, I get, I, I'm excited because it actually worked out. I get to share with you like all my favorites. And yes. I don't, we, we, you know, we split everything up. So uh, the first one is the Art Gentle Cleanser. And that's, it's in the picture, but that's what it looks like. And uh, I have to tell you all of these art products, I grabbed one of my boxes that I haven't opened yet. But you guys, like they are so gorgeous. I remember the first time I got these after they redesigned them and I did not want to open the boxes. Because they're beautiful. So if you're looking for like a a really nice gift for something for someone, uh, these make they're just they're sparkly. I'm like I'm a sucker for sparkle. So they're just it's really gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. So yeah, that's what this is the uh, the moisturizer, which I'll talk about in a minute. But this is the gentle cleanser. And one thing that I love about this is it's a foaming bottle. So um, you squeeze it out, and it's it's like a foam pump. So it lasts a really long time. Uh, I usually only use one pump if I have like a lot of makeup on or a lot of eye makeup on or something. I'll use two pumps, but it lasts forever, really long time. So um, I love that. And 
we just went through all the protocols so you know that um, I think all of them start with cleansing twice a day uh, with the art gentle cleanser so definitely a great uh, first step item if you haven't tried any of these yet and um, great first step towards healthier looking skin uh, Young Living reformulated the Art cleanse Cleanser lately, and now it uses additional plant-based ingredients to gently and effectively remove poor clogging impurities from the skin. So you can use this cleanser morning or evening. I love it because it's super gentle. I mean, really, if, if you fall into like to the sensitive category, I can kind of have sensitive skin sometimes, uh, depending on the time of year and just if I've been traveling and stuff. So. Um, I love this. And the Arch Gentle Cleanser, by the way, is not out of stock. It's in stock. $32.75, which I think is like, I mean, it lasts forever. It's an awesome deal. And uh, I, I, yeah, it's in stock. So get it. I mean, grab it before I'm it's not right in now. stock. <laughs> because I just pulled it up. So unless it just went, it, unless it just yeah. went out, uh, it should be in stock. Let me, let me check. That's yeah, okay. it's in I stock. <laughs> You, you got it already. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so what else? I do? So a little bit goes a long way. I, I just use it with a washcloth, um, and I put it on there and warm water, and it works great. I love it. And I love that it's super gentle, but it also does a really good job. And it doesn't – I don't feel like it strips my skin of the natural oils because we want those in our skin. So uh, there's other cleansers I've used in the past that just – you know, your skin just feels like a, like way too like tight. tight, and I don't feel like that at all with this. So, um, I love the cleanser, and it's a it's a three point three eight fluid ounce bottle, which I was actually complaining to my husband the other day because I'm like it's just too big not to bring on travel size. <laughs> so, um, FYI, if you're wondering, you're gonna have to wait. But um, that is the gentle cleanser. Perfect. So. Sorry, I had a little person coming to talk to me. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm going to talk about um, the Orange Blossom Face Wash here. And I would say this is so one of my favorite products. So I love it. Um, it is gentle, it's non abrasive, um, it's free rinsing, and it removes dirt and makeup without stripping the skin of those natural oils, which we just talked about. It also contains MSM to promote healthier and clearer skin. It has wolfberry seed oil um, that helps hydrate. And then there's also essential oils to soothe and you get a wonderful smell. That's why I love using it in the shower because one, the bottle is super handy to keep in the shower. And then I just love that little whiff and what wake up that I get when I'm in the shower. So it's really good. So um, you can also um, use a foaming pump bottle um, and you can put a couple tablespoons of this um, face wash into that bottle and then fill with distilled or filtered water um, and then you could use it that way as well. I have not tried that but I know many people have and I think that was a tip from Melissa Pepping um, that she shared at beauty school I think it was last year so so it's just a way to make it go a little bit longer so I stock up on this so we're going to talk about products tonight somebody I'll mention that that some of these products are going to be out of stock. It's just the nature of our business and our industry. I mean, they um, don't just go to the laboratory and mix a new batch up. And so they, um, you know, they have to go through the process of growing the material and all of that good stuff. So this is when I seriously, I have three backup bottles in my um, my little stash cabinet. So um so I love redeeming my ER points for Orange Blossom <laughs> because I know I'm going to use it. And I, you know, when I need it, maybe it will be out of stock, but I want to have a backup. So I love it. Oh, am I frozen? People see me? Did I freeze? Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Let me know. Oh. Can, can everybody hear me? Hear me? I oh. can hear you, Susan. Okay, I can hear you, Jenny. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, perfect. I think okay. we're good. I don't know what that was all about. So, <laughs> okay, good. Okay, we can move on now. Okay. Um, okay, I'm. I think I'm good. Okay, good. My my thing went down and went back up. So, okay, let me know if I freeze, but hopefully it'll be good. So the next one I wanted to talk about is the art toner, which is this. That's what it looks like in person. And uh, I'm kind of like, I, not I'm kind of, I'm really like you, Susan. I'm like a total simple, like, I just, I don't know. I'm not like a big fussy person over my hair or makeup. Uh, my husband might argue with <laughs> me a bit on that. But um, so I'm like terrible at toning, but I'm, but, but this is a really, really awesome toner. And I'm glad that it comes in um, the kit when you get the art kit, the three piece kit, which comes with the cleanser, the moisturizer and the toner, because I probably wouldn't have tried it otherwise. And I really enjoyed seeing those protocols because it kind of made me realize the importance of using the toner. So um, I've used it, I'm just not very diligent about it to you know, be very transparent. So I'm gonna have to be better about that. But, um, and even in our notes, you know, it's applying a toner is an awesome skip Step, but if you want to maximize benefits from your skincare um, regimen, you don't want to leave it out. Uh, providing essential oils in a light, easily absorbing formula. Art refreshing toner smooths and balances the skin after cleansing, diminishes the appearance of pores, removes residual particles left behind. Uh, and um, yeah, so it really can like you want to consider it like the rinse cycle for your facial cleansing routine. And uh, not only does it help to remove leftover residue, but it helps to balance the pH levels and preps your skin to be moisturized. So to apply really simple, just uh, dab into cotton ball with the toner and gently swipe across clean, dry skin. I like to use those like little round um, cotton things to do it. And uh, yeah, that's how I use the toner. And, and it is, it's really, it's really light and nice and it doesn't like burn or anything like that. It feels really nice to put on. It's very refreshing. Um, this is one that is out of stock right now, but I, I wanted to, to mention this and I don't know if Susan, if you, if you touch on this in chat, but because Young Living so strict about what's going into these bottles, they do not compromise on any of that. So if there is an ingredient that maybe isn't isn't, it's a plant and it's not ready to be picked because there was a flood somewhere or something like that. Sometimes that stuff happens and I'm really grateful to get products from a company that I know that they're not gonna compromise for the sake of profit. So um, the good thing is, is I think I can you know, say for all of these facial care products really, I don't feel like any of them like go out of stock for like a really long period of time. So my suggestion would be is if you learn about one tonight and you're like, oh my gosh, I want that. Keep an eye out from your leaders and in your email inbox from Young Living um, and just when you're setting up your ER order and stuff like that, um, keep an eye out for when they come back in stock and snatch them when they do. So you can get your hands on them in case they don't stay in stock so long. So, my tip. So true, so true. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the satin facial scrub, the satin mint. So this smells wonderful too. Like my shower is like the best place to be in the morning. I've got orange and mint going on. So, so I really do, um, this is a step that I kind of skipped for a long time as well. And you can see that it's really important to be getting those dead skin, skin cells off of your skin for you to have that healthy appearance. And so don't skip this step. Um, so why is it important? Um, as we age, the process of cell regeneration slows down. So me, Miss Oldie here. So it means that my skin um, is not, um, it's slower to shed the skin cells and generate new ones. So, um, so when old skin cells start to pile up on the surface of the skin, it can leave it looking dull, rough, and dry. So. I don't want to look like that. And so having this exfoliation a couple times a week can really make a difference. So, um, so I, like I said, it is probably one of the pivotal points in my skincare routine of making sure to get that skin that shouldn't be there anymore off. And then, so the other can, um, be, you know, really prominent. So, um, it is definitely a great, if I would look at some of your other scrubs that you use on your face, 
you want to be really careful that they aren't really harsh ingredients and you know really big pieces that are really going to be um, irritating to your skin. That's the last thing that you want to do when you're exfoliating. You want to do it in a real gentle way that is just taking the dead skin cells off and not damaging um, the good skin cells. So be really um, be really aware of that and looking at the other ingredients that you have and maybe a product that you're currently using. So and um, so I wash first, then exfoliate. So that's how I do it. So. Uh, sorry, I'm just answering a question here. Okay, so we're just say so we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be posting those protocols in the group. So if you have questions on order or anything like that, you will have those to refer back to. Uh, I'm actually I'm like gonna print mine out and probably keep it in my bathroom so I can remember you get the remember. get the order down. I'm Thank like you. super excited um, about that, but. Um, I have to, so that mint scrub that Susan was just talking about. I love that, and I love traveling with that uh, because it's it's just it's just perfect. And it uh, all of these last forever. And I was thinking about like why is that? Because I'm like that lasts forever. That lasts forever. That lasts forever. And I think it's just the quality of the. It's not like watered down. You don't have like you're not paying for a bottle that's ninety percent water and then a couple of ingredients in there. Sorry, my. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs, but they're having a uh, disagreement right now. Well, that's uh, what I feel like with the, the orange blossom wash. It's like my, my bottle will last, no no joke, four months. months. Like yep. what other face wash would last? I mean, you, seriously, you don't even need, like I would say maybe two pea sizes. Like if you put two peas together, that's how much I use when I wash my face and it does the job. So it's really nice to be able to have um, products that, um, like you said, Jenny, aren't watered down. There's not a lot of filler stuff. So yeah. Uh, and that mint scrub is only $16.25 wholesale. And I, I feel like even like right now saying the wholesale prices, like we have, you know, you get your ER points back. Like these are great items to put in your ER order. If you're new to ER and you're like, okay, I, I had that 50 PV and what do I put in it? Well, make a list right now because these are awesome items. And uh, I was talking to a friend earlier today just about how I used to go to the grocery store and we would buy our food, but what really ran up our grocery store total was all these beauty products that weren't really good for us. and all the cleaning products and all that's been replaced with Young Living stuff right now. So if you're like new and you're like, okay, I want to get on ER, but I don't know what to get, things like this and things like the thieves cleaner and the laundry detergent and the dish soap and all that stuff that helps you to have a chemical free home, those are all really great items to start picking up every month. And then that way you can take the money that you'd be spending on chemical filled products, maybe at the grocery store or other places and transfer that to what you're getting from Young Living. So um, it's so so true to piggyback on that a little. There's a gal that's in my downline and she like buys everything now that um, shampoo, you know, facials, all that, because she's like, you know what? Like when I would go to Target, I wouldn't pick I might be going just to buy shampoo, but that's not all I left with. So this is even this is way cheaper for me to do this because I'm not making those extra chips and buying things that I would not have other. It's like I have this slogan. It's like if I'm not I don't really need something. I don't go like to the mall to like look around or like to talk. Oh, I'm just going to look around because you don't ever look around. You like buy stuff. It's like going to Costco without like stick to your list. So anyway, so think about it that way. If you had items that you used on a regular basis like this coming shipped to your home where you didn't have to make extra trips outside and had that temptation to buy a bunch of other stuff that maybe you didn't need. It's like you're saving more in the long run, really. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, so this next one that I get to talk about is probably of all of these. I'm like, if you're going to get any, just guys, you have to try this. I love it. I like, I love it, love it. And um, it's the Art Light Moisturizer. And that's what it looks like. And I showed you the box earlier. It's just gorgeous. So quick story with this is I had this and I used it and I used it and I used it and I just kind of spaced for a couple months including it in my ER order and I ran out and then it went out of stock and I ended up having to buy 
Um, and Susan, I think you know this, right? I ended up having to buy a different, a non-Young Living brand and I started using it and my face started breaking out and it was like, it's just sad. <laughs> like, it was terrible and now it's back and I am stocked up and I am so pumped about it. So um, this stuff is amazing. It's, I, I, I love that it's called light moisturizer because it is really light and uh, it's just, it is. It's just really light. I don't feel like it goops up my skin or anything like that. Um, it forms a hydrating barrier on the skin to lock moisture in and other beneficial ingredients into the skin to protect it, for, uh, protect it from environmental attacks. And uh, previous to this, so this is another reformulated product. Young Living had the Art Day uh, Day Activator and the Night Restructurer. So um, restructioner, structure, you guys get the point. Uh, two separate products and they combined it into one. So that's awesome. And of course it's oil infused and it has new active botanicals that work on all skin types to help retain, main, help retain and maintain proper hydration. Um, it also reduces visible, visible signs of aging, even skin tone and improves skin elast elasticity. And massage onto the face morning and evening after applying toner. This moisturizer leaves your complexion refreshed, renewed, and radiant. And I've experienced all of that. I use this uh, morning and evening. And then we're going to talk about some more, um, I don't want to say like heavier, like they're a little bit stronger in the moisturization thing later. And I, and I supplement those as needed if I, because I told you I do have combination skin. If I do have an area that's, um, a little dry, then I'll kind of supplement the sandalwood moisture cream or one of the others that we'll talk about in a minute. But this, um, this is a great start to have. It comes in that free um, kit. It's not in stock right now, but I did want to mention it for when it comes back in stock. So the kit that comes with the moisturizer, the toner, and the cleanser is one hundred nine seventy five, and that's before any of your ER benefits and all that. So. Um, I love that it lets you try all three, but the um, this is in stock right now, so I'd say pick it up for sure. So you could pick up the cleanser and the moisturizer and start incorporating those into your skin routine. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little information about the Boswellia Wrinkle Cream. Um, I personally have not used this. It is on my list, and unfortunately, when I went to buy it last month, um, it was out of stock, so um, I don't know if it's in stock it's right in now stock. or not. It's in stock now. Yay. It is. Okay, Yay. good. Yeah. Um, so this is definitely one when you were looking at the protocols that, um, I mean, it, it was popping up there for me, Miss Mature Skin. So it's definitely one if you are in, you know, your late 30s or 40s that you want to consider. So some of the reasons that um, this one is so awesome for your anti-aging strategy is because it has frankincense myrrh and sandalwood so wonderful oils for this skin it also has that msn and some other um, things that are really um, key to help with your um, healthy skin so um, i want to get this one because i think it's going to be really helpful for these areas here around the edges that tend to you know create issues um, for people that smile a lot or laugh a lot you know we kind of get all those little wrinkles there so um so if anybody has tried this one i would love for you to comment because i unfortunately have not but we definitely wanted to share this since we talked about it in some of the routines i, I have to i have to interrupt you just for this but did you hear about the lady on the news that um she's she's i don't know how old and she was saying her beauty secret to saying so beautiful for so long is that she never has any facial expressions so she doesn't oh. smile. She doesn't frown. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny when you mentioned Okay, that. Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll I could do not now. do that. I am, I am the worst when, it, like, I I have to have a, a poker face. It's just, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So you're so turn. lucky you get to talk about this one because this is, like, seriously, this is, like, my second favorite. You can chime favorite. in. Oh, chime in. I, no, I, I, I know. I love it, too. So this is the sandalwood moisture cream, and I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. So um, 
this is one of the products that I love kind of supplementing my art light, light moisturizer with if I need a little bit heavier moisturizer. I live in Colorado, so it gets super, super dry here. And I actually love using this cream on uh, the backs of my hands. They've been just getting dry lately. Susan, do you ever use it on your hands? Um, probably only if I've gotten a little bit too much in my palm when I rub it on my face, then I just put it on my hands. But Okay. Uh, so this is super, super, super moisturizing. I actually tried just this first, and for my combination skin, just this alone was too moisturizing. So um, then I started using the art, and that works perfectly for me for the combination skin. Um, if you have like super dry skin, then this might work uh, alone really well for you. Uh, so it's ideal for dry skin, mature skin, or um, combination skin. But like I said, for me, I have combination and um, it is very, very moisturizing. So a uh, really good one to have during the, the winter months. So Susan, I'll let you, I know this is one of your favorite favorites. So go ahead. And well, I already kind of talked about it a little bit that I do. I mean, I use it every single night. That is my night, night moisturizer. And I would say typically, I would say I have combination skin or maybe maybe a tad on the dry side. So, um, but this is definitely um, what I use, you know, before bed. And I love it that it just makes me feel so moisturize I mean it's like there is no dryness at all so it is very good and I love it's a large container um, and I think if I correct remember it's it like is. 60 million dollars or so but it is a large container so um, it will last you a while as well yeah it's in stock yeah. and it's um, 6125 and last I have had this for I think like a year. I mean, really, it lasts. And again, like a little bit going. I'm sitting here rubbing it on my hands, and I, my mom's watching this, and she'll laugh. But I'm thinking about those. Um, if any of you ever watch QVC, and you have the models that are, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't resist it. It just smells amazing, and yeah. So it is. It is um, a good one. So mom, you can get a good laugh out of that. So let's see. You're <laughs> you're gonna talk. No. Yes, you're gonna talk about. Um, something Talk I haven't tried the, yet. I want no, to. and I haven't tried it either. And so that is the rose ointment. So if anybody has used this or has anything to add, please um, do so in the comments. So, um, so this is definitely um, one that protects and nourishes skin with the benefits of mink oil. So, which is very similar to our body's own natural oil. Um, and there are some other ingredients that are really good to help um, dry cracked skin and it works really well when applied over essential oils. So if you wanted to use some of those protocols where we talked about the oils at the end of the different um, routines, you could put this over the top of that and it would kind of like seal in um, the oil and that it would be absorbed into your skin really good. So. Um, it is not recommended for heat stressed skin. So like if you are out in the sun all day and you know what happens sometimes, yeah, we do not use this on that kind of skin. So good to know. I didn't know that. Um, and it has rose oil in it, you guys. So what I and it's it's twenty two dollars. It's out of stock right now, but what I'm I've been watching for this one to come yeah, back. I want to so get I'm it. So the next one that I want to talk about is the Art Renewal System, which is um, it's a bunch of it's an intricate blend of exotic orchid petals and essential oils to help protect and revitalize the skin. And um, I haven't tried this one yet. It is on my list. I want to try it. And um, I just. I, I love pretty bottles. How gorgeous is that, like, red bottle? I'm, like, a sucker for that. So, um, uh, yeah, so that's that's the Art Renewal System Serum. And I'm pretty sure, so this would be part of the, um, I'm trying to think of, so this is part of that Restore step mm -hmm. in, in that skin care. So um, I'm trying to, yes, so if you have, Combination skin, we talked about that restore step being really important for you. So that is something that I learned 
and um, that's why this is on my list. I'm excited to try it. So um, that that's really important if you do have combination skin that restores stuff. It's it, it's no longer optional at that point. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. I've used this and I do like it. It's um, like a clear liquid, um, and then you just squirt it out and you can apply it over. Um, your skin and then put your other items on so it's nice. I do like it. I have run out and I haven't replenished it yet either so. Do you put it all over your face or just in specific areas? I would just I put it all over but obviously the instructions here said just in certain areas that you would need it so yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the oh, I do have this one the wolfberry eye cream so I do have this and I um, wish I could tell you exactly why I chose to purchase it. Unfortunately, I cannot. However, my skin had some challenges and um, that was what led me to purchase it because it um, has uh, the wolfberry in it, which can be really beneficial for certain skin things. So um, you can Google that if you'd like. Um, so many people use it for dark circles um, under the eye as well, and that could be helpful there. That is not why I bought it. but um, So it can be applied in the morning or the evening to ease the appearance of puffiness and dark circles around the eyes and can promote skin tightening. Um, the Wolfberry Eye Cream is formulated from oil that's carefully extracted from the seeds of the Ningxia Wolfberry. So that's exactly why I had tried this one for my skin challenge. Um, also has some vitamin E and some other ingredients in it as well. So it is highly regarded by Asian women for its regenerative properties and its ability to protect aging skin and add luster to skin tone. So definitely on the list for that mature skin. So awesome. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is the Art Cream Mask which is formulated to deeply moisturize and protect skin using an exclusive blend of um, and essential oils. Other uh, natural spa quality botanicals are added to help soothe, tighten, and restore the look of youthful, um, or look and youthfulness of the skin. So I actually got to experience this at convention last year when I had a facial, and uh, it smells so good. Susan, do you have this one at home? Yeah, I do, yeah. So uh, how to use, you wash and dry face, apply evenly the face, you let it sit 20 minutes, and then you remove excess residue with a moist towel. And this is also another orchid-based formula. Um, Designed to soothe skin and leave it feeling healthier and more radiant. It has orchid. So I learned a little tip from a cross lane friend of ours, Darlene. Uh, I watched a video where she was talking about this, and she actually puts this on and will leave it on all night. And I, that's how I use it because I have that dry kind of mature skin, and it works really well that way. So I mean, you can wash it off for sure, but um, it's not going to be a problem to leave it on either so and then just wait till the morning so anyway okay where, where are we at me Shirloume, right and i like how you say Shirloume. i thought i've always called it Shirloume. very i'm very french <laughs> <laughs> okay. much more so i have been using this product since it was released at convention not this past summer, but the summer before this was the one that came out. And so let's just chat about it because this one is one you have got to incorporate into your routine. So um, it is very good at illuminating your complexion, which is basically it's brightening your skin. So um, lots of great ingredients. You've got carrot seed, vetiver, blue cypress, sandalwood, jasmine, sacred frank, Idaho blue tansy, melissa. Geranium, clove, and a lot more. So, so what this will help with is those annoying dark spots um, and uneven skin tone that plague women all over the world. So everybody's got it, and we all want to get rid of it. We want to have like this nice skin tone, and this has made such a difference in my own skin. So, I 
we'll use this um, a little, uh, whatever you want to say, swathing um, before I apply my moisturizer, um, before I do like my makeup or just in the day if I'm not wearing makeup, before I put my moisturizer. So I, to be honest, I'm not sure if this, I don't see that, that this, now after we've looked at the routines, it is not used in place of a moisturizer. It's just an additional um, product that you can help in getting your skin to be brighter and more evenly toned. So. Um, so this was just great. You can probably find a lot of different um, products that will promise similar results, but they are going to be filled with a lot of chemicals and things that you are not going to be wanting to put on your skin. So um, Shirley is just one that I have found to be really helpful in my skin appearance. So, And I love that there's a natural, like essential oil based option for something like that. I wouldn't have thought. But there was yeah. it. There is. That's great. Uh, the last product that we're going to talk about tonight is the Art Beauty Mask. And this is another one that I got to experience while I was at convention. And it was super, I uh, was just, ah, like if you wanted to do a girl's night and have like a spa night, or if you want to have a spa night by yourself, um, this is awesome. It's, it's, it's super relaxing. Smells amazing. So basically, they are these like, how do I? Jenny, you should have totally done one. I can't believe you wouldn't do this on screen for everybody. <laughs> it's like I a Freddy Krueger mask. It, that's what it is. It's like a, a paper white thing with little slits for. <laughs> there, there, there you go. That's a great way to describe it. Yes. So um, perfect for Halloween if you want to scare your husband, children. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's it's like a compulsory thing. If you go to beauty school, you have to post a picture of yourself with one of these masks on because you always see them. Uh, but yeah, it's like a it, it's not like paper. It's not like hard like paper, but it's like a soft cottonish something. Thing. Yeah. Anyways, and it goes in your face, and there's slits for your eyes and your nose and your mouth, and it's already like pre infused with all of um, this amazing thing. You can look at the image to see exactly um, all the amazing stuff that's on it, but it also has orchid in it. It has um, um, just really, really good stuff for our skin. So, uh, by the way, do, if you like want... every few weeks, I love to be able to do this every few weeks. It's a nice little added bonus. I don't, I, I just like, it smells so good. It just like feels, it's just very a luxurious. Thing. Uh, and leaves your face super, super soft and just um, really deeply moisturized and protected. Uh, just has a lot of really good, great spa, spa quality botanicals to help soothe, tighten, and restore um, the look of youthfulness to the skin. So to, um, to use it, you would want to wash and dry your face, and then you apply the mask to your face and it's not like I, I wanted to describe it to you so you know it's not like a mask where you like put on like mud on your face or something like that it's which I love because it's easy to put on and easy to take off and you don't have like a big mess and stuff running and getting all over your clothes and stuff so then you let sit for 20 minutes and then you remove the excess residue with a moist towel so that's um, how it works and it's suitable for all skin types perfect Okay, well, we went through everything. We were gonna, I just wanna give a shout out to, to um, a couple of the new products. So you've got the Mira Shave Oil and then also the Shutron Shave Cream. I got the Shave Oil this month and I just used it today for the first time. Oh my word. Like seriously, my legs are like, woo -hoo! it was really easy to use. It, I used it in the shower to shave my legs and really good. I've heard a lot of other people talk about it. It smells really good too. So take a look at that one. We're not going to be able to talk about it tonight because we are out of time, but um, I love, I love that one. So it's a doozy. So get that one. That was like an so, awesome um, surprise of a new product. Like I wasn't expecting it, and it was just like, bam, here you go, shave oil, awesome. Yeah, here you go, here's a couple of new things, so perfect, yeah. yeah. So most of you that are joining us here tonight, I know I recognize names, are already members with Young Living, so 
Um, you know how to get the best deal and are the most frugal way to purchase items for your family. But if there's anybody that's joining us tonight that is not already a member of Young Living, um, Jenny and I will post our link in the comments. So please feel free to contact one of us and ask any questions. Um, we'd be happy to share information on how um, you could get started um, either using oils or just starting with a skincare routine. You can have that option too. So um, it's a great way to help um, your uh, family get off on a better start than just going down to the drugstore and buying a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. And it, yeah. I'm going to post my link and then can you post yours, Jenny? Yep. I will. And I um, it'll send you over to our blog. If you were invited to join this freecast by um, someone else, oh, yeah. another leader, a friend, or whatever, definitely follow up with them. And um, I'm sure they'd be more than happy to um, get you the same information or connect you with someone that, that can't too. So make sure to follow up with them if um, they invited you. But if, if we invited you or if you um, randomly found us through Spreecast, definitely check out those links and reach out to us um, because we love, love, love supporting our team. So, yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right, that's all we got. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I know it was a little bit longer than what we wanted to usually do on an evening, but there was just a lot of really good information. So feel free. We'll post the uh, replay link, and you can share this with other members, and hopefully they'll get their own little beauty school uh, out of it as well. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Hey. Mm -hmm. Bye.